Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Mail Call. I'm actually opening up a bunch of mail. This is not fan mail. I wish that it was, but this is actually stuff that I ordered off of TCG Player because I gave in and decided I'm done opening the Scarlet and Violet base set because Paldea Evolved is coming up and I really just have a few cards left that I need for my Scarlet and Violet set. So we're gonna open up what I ordered here, which goes beyond Scarlet and Violet. I ordered some additional stuff for the other sets that I have. While this isn't going to complete the other sets, the Astral Radiance and the Lost Origin, um, it's gonna get me a little bit closer. My uh, click finger was heavy while I was on the TCG Player website, and so that's where we ended up. This first package that we're opening up is from TCG Player Direct, and so these are cards that came directly from TCG Player from different sellers that were selling them and had them stored there. So let's see what we've got. To start us off, we've got an Aerodactyl V. We've got also the V-Star variant of that as well. We've got a Delphox, a Drapion V-Star, an Enamorous V, Herserker V, Electrode V, the Chirum V. We also have a Magnezone V, a Rotom V. Different variation of the Enamorous. This is the Trader's Gallery Enamorous V. We've got the Silene. We've got a Garchomp V, a Gardenia's Vigor, a Heatran V. We've got a Lilligant V, Samurott V. V-Star, I do have the V of this, so now I've got the V-Star. We've got the Typhlosion V-Star, the Luxray V, another version of the, the full art of the Luxray V. It's excited about this one, the Machamp V, Machamp V-Max, Secret, Dialga V-Star, Palkia V-Star, we've got the Roxanne, we've got the Starmie V, full art, and the Zaizu. So those are the cards that I got direct from TCG Player. Now we're going to get into some of the other cards that came from individual sellers. So as you can see, like pretty much all of these were Astral Radiance and Lost Origin cards. I don't think, yeah, there wasn't any in here that were Scarlet and Violet. And so uh, let's keep going and see what we've got here and check out some of the packaging. I'm selling on TCG player now. The packaging can be kind of interesting what people do to seal these up inside of envelopes and get the cheapest shipping that they can. Not thrilled about the tape, a little bit of tape being on the card with this one. This is another Enamorous V here as well. We've got several of the Enamorous variants. Lots of Enamorous V. I must have just been looking to complete all of a specific Pokemon variant because I believe I was up pretty late probably laying in bed scrolling and thinking about Pokemon and deciding what cards I would like to get. Here is a Team Star Grunt. Uh, this one is in a nice top loader uh, with a sleeve as well and that's great. Team Star Grunt, this is one that I need for Scarlet and Violet. And so at the end of this video, we're gonna get these in the binder as well. So you definitely wanna stick around as we get these into the binder because in this video, assuming that everything has showed up and is in the condition that I want it to be in, we will be completing the Scarlet and Violet set based off of what we've got coming here. So we've got the Kamado from Astral Radiance and a top loader. I do like the way this card uh, is very well protected because it's in a top loader and you know it's it's not a cheap card. It's not a, a high priced card but it's not a cheap card and so it's nice that they put it in a top loader just to give it that added protection. Here's one that looks like it was kind of sandwiched into pieces of a manila folder that were fashioned into a sleeve which I guess is one way of doing it and in here we've got the Giratina V-Star from Lost Origin, Giratina. And so what I probably should do here is get all of these cards like organized by series because right now it's just kind of a big mess. And to be completely honest, I remember ordering this many cards. Another Scarlet and Violet card that I need that I was having a hard time getting, the Cryodon EX, Alt Art. This card, I just had such a challenge pulling, and so I'm glad to have it now. I do want to complete these other sets besides uh, Scarlet and Violet. I would love to complete Lost Origin and Astral Radiance, but you know, the pull rates have just been really challenging. If you've seen some of the other videos, I've struggled a little bit with getting some of the cards that I was hoping to get as I go through this process. Oh, here's this kind of cool, this core 
TCG. They've got a nice envelope that allows for cards to slide in and protects the cards really well. So I do like that. We've got the Origin Form Palkia V here um, that was in that. And I will say it's got a very little bit of curvature to it, which may have to do from that envelope. Still, it's in good condition and there's nothing wrong with that card. It's relatively flat. All the cards that we've pulled out, they're relatively flat. Maybe a little bit of bend in a few of them, but not much considering they went through the mail, which uh, I would have expected more damage to be on some of these. All right, we've got a couple of cards in here, so we'll go ahead and slide them out of this uh, top loader that has a couple different cards in it, and then a individual sleeve that has a couple of different cards in it, so I guess they couldn't spring for sleeves for the individual cards. We've got the Ver... Uh, Veri Verizion. I want to say Verizon Wireless. We've got the Verizion V here. Uh, this is a card that I needed. And we've got the Arcanine EX. This is a card that has eluded me. I have not been able to pull this card, even though it's not super, super rare. I've seen a lot of other people pulling this card, but it is a card that I struggled to pull. So I'm going to put it in the sleeve. And we will sleeve up the rest of these cards because they are nice cards. And if I was shipping them, they would have come in their own penny sleeves at least. All right, what do we got next? We've got the Wiglet. This is another card, not a super rare card, but it just eluded me. I had such a hard time pulling this Wiglet. And so Wiglet is a Scarlet and Violet card that I need to complete the set. Continue to open the mail here as we get through these. On TCG Player, one of the things that I do like is the ability to pare down the amount of people that you're getting shipments from. And I did use that feature. Otherwise, I probably would have had a lot more stuff coming from different places. We got the Gudra V-Star here, another card that I need for that set. I think we've got five envelopes left. And most of these envelopes are probably just gonna have like one or two cards in them because TCG player just didn't have a seller that had all these cards coming from one individual seller. So we've got a top loader with Nick's name on it here. It's taped closed, so I've gotta pull the masking tape off. This is a Drapion V. Now, I don't prefer this method of acquiring Pokemon. I'll be honest, I like pulling them out of booster packs. I know that everybody else probably feels the same way as I do, that they would prefer to pull all of their Pokemon out of booster packs. The reason, like I said, that I am doing this is mainly because these are older series with the exception of Scarlet and Violet. Astral Radiance, I have a lot of those cards. I would love to try and get as close to completing those sets as possible, but I know that I don't want to open boxes and boxes and boxes of Astral Radiance and Lost Origin. Um, here's a Magnezone V that I need as well. Also, pretty cool card. Didn't know much about Magnezone until I started opening Scarlet and Violet. And of course, uh, with Scarlet and Violet, Magnezone's parent in there. And so Magnezone's uh, an interesting character and has some decent attacks if you play Pokemon, if you actually battle. I love these shipping shields. Um, this is nice. This is a nice way to ship the cards. I know this is an added expense. This came from uh, Weekend Anime and Games. Seems like they do take the extra precaution to protect cards. And uh, there's only one card in here, and it is the Scovillian from Scarlet and Violet. Another card that I need to complete that set. And so I appreciate them for putting that in the shipping shield. That is definitely a nice way to care for your orders that you are sending out. I have been, you know, just kind of doing it my myself. I got some cardboard shippers. And even though those are more expensive because you can't just throw a stamp on those and send them in the mail, I felt like that provides a good amount of protection to the cards uh, that I've been shipping. And I know that I'm gonna have to figure out a more cost-effective way to ship cards, but right now that just seems like the best option. Here's the Clauncher. Scarlet and Violet. So Clauncher, another card that has eluded me. So we have the last envelope here, the last envelope. Let's see what we've got in this last envelope from my order. My son actually ordered some stuff too for his Crown Zenith set. So my last card here is the Oranguru V card that I don't have. And 
a card that we will be adding to the binder. And then one last thing that I did order, I might be regretting, but we'll see when we open this up, is a Lost Origin booster box of packs. And so in the next video, we'll be opening up this. We'll probably do a pack pool competition between one of my kids and myself so that we can continue to build out that Lost Origin. Those Lost Origin booster boxes are not that cheap these days, but nonetheless, I want to work towards completing the set, so we're gonna open it. All right, so let's complete this Scarlet and Violet set. You guys, I kinda started thinking that maybe I would never get to the place where I had this Scarlet and Violet set complete because some of these cards were so challenging, but we did decide to purchase the cards that we needed to complete the set. Let me know whether or not uh, you would have done the same thing down in the comment section below. Would you have decided to do that? Let's go ahead and put Clauncher right in here and do space number 205. I definitely battled with the idea of doing that. I wanted to pull all of these myself. I don't really know why. It just seemed like that would be a bigger accomplishment to have pulled all of them myself, but here we are finishing off the set with some purchases online. These cards, I did go and check one last time to see if my local card shop had them, and they didn't, so I had to go and purchase them online. Some of you had talked about doing trades or trading. That is something that I am definitely open to and would love to discuss more. I've been considering doing maybe a live video or two, Let's get card 206, this is Wiglet, and now we have this complete page. Perhaps like with a live video or something, we could do some trading there. It would be kind of cool, definitely something that I would consider. All right, so our Arcanine EX Terra is gonna go right here, right next to the Gyarados EX, and then we have that page complete as well. Now, as we make it Back here next to the Great Tusk, we would have the Karyodon. I am looking here, and uh, I know Team Stargrunt's gonna go here, and right next to Oink alone, there is a card that's missing, and I need to look at that up and see what it is, because I just can't think of what it could be off the top of my head. There may be a card that just hasn't arrived yet, I thought that I gave enough time for everything to get here, but also in a late night, stupor, I could have not purchased that card. So we're going to definitely take a look and see what we need for that spot. So Karyodon getting sleeved up here in one of the side loaders, and we will put Karyodon right here next to Great Tusk EX, and we'll get Team Stargrunt out of this and into a side loader as well, just so that we have all of our sleeves the same. A lot of times these sleeves are coming in these uh, different types of sleeves, maybe uh, colored backing or more of a battle deck style sleeve, but I just prefer them all to be the same and we will slide that in there. Now let's open up our trusty app. Uh, we'll go in to Dex, which is what I've been using for my Pokedex, although it's not completely up to date. I don't have everything that I own in here, but if I'm trying to complete a set, then I try to keep it in here just so that I can keep track of what I have and what I don't have. All right, so let's uh, mark Scovillian off. We've got that card. We also have the Clauncher, and we have the Wiglet as well. And we'll move on down to the Arcanine EX, which we have. Awesome. The Karyodon, which we have. And the Iron Treads, yes, that's right, the Iron Treads, I don't believe we pulled that one out, so it must still be in transit. We'll have to check and see uh, if it is, in fact, in transit still, which is a bummer. I thought that we had everything, but it looks like we are still missing the Iron Treads full art. And so now if I go back, we've got 257 out of 258 cards which is extremely close. And just for good measure, we'll look really quick just to make sure that we didn't accidentally put it in with one of these other cards because I don't think that we did. I don't remember talking about that Iron Treads as we opened up uh, all of these envelopes. Mistakes can, can be made. And then sometimes some of these uh, sleeves might have two cards in them, but I'm not seeing any with two cards. So that one must still be in transit. 
which is fine. All right, well, if that's gonna do it for this video, I'm definitely gonna go and sleeve the rest of these cards and get them into the Astral Radiance and Lost Origin binder. So I'll do a binder review video coming up soon. I also wanna get my son's Crown Zenith binder and my other son has been building out his shiny supporter collection and I'd love to give you guys an update on that as well. So make sure to click that subscribe button. If you liked videos like this, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, Go ahead and ask them, and we'll see you back in the next video.